want to greet you all in the glorious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is Pastor M. Sanger, and I'm going to give you a word of encouragement. In these few minutes, I want just to give a word of encouragement to someone who's watching me right now. Uh, you might be going through a challenge in your life. There is a word that God wants you to hear today. And so just come with me as we get to the word of God. We are going to read a few scriptures from the word of God. And I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. And we'll read verse 20. Let me begin by reading verse 20 of Matthew chapter 17. The Bible says, Because you have so little faith, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Bible says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, what am I saying today, this morning? I want to ask you a question. I want to challenge somebody and ask you a question. What have you got to say? What have you got to say? Every day you get to face different circumstances and face different challenges in your life. But then the question that I want to ask you today, what have you got to say about the challenge that you are facing today? You can go to the Bible in the book of First Samuel and read about the, a man called David. One time he goes to, to Berkeley and he finds his brothers um, faced with Goliath. And Goliath from the morning until the end of the day, he will speak to them. He will say words to them in the morning. He will say words to them in the evening and tell them that he is going to conquer them. Day after day, Goliath continued to speak words against them and, and, and continue to say, bring a man that can stand against me and I will fight that man. If I conquer that man, you, all of you are going to be conquered. But if you bring a man and he fights against me and the conquers against me you would have conquered and day after day they heard the words of, of Goliath and they were so terrified by the words that Goliath was saying and they couldn't even say anything about what Goliath was saying I am saying to you today there are some things that Goliath has been saying to you there are some words that Goliath has been speaking to you day after day telling you that you will never make it telling you that you can never amount to anything you have been hearing words in the morning being said to you that oh no you're your, your economy is going to perish. Your economy is not good enough. You have been hearing words at the end of the day. That whatever you've been trying to do he has failed. Everything that is around you seems to be a negative word and there is nothing positive around you. There is no response that you are getting from me. Today, my challenge that I want to give to somebody who's watching me is that I am giving you a challenge that there's got to be something that you have got to say. There's got to be a word that has got to come out of your mouth. You have got to respond. There is a mountain that is in front of you and the mountain seems so big. Many a time we know we are a people who love to tell God how big our mountain is. But today, I am asking you the question, what have you got to say about the mountain you are faced with? Are you going to continue telling God how big the mountain is? Or today, you have got to change and begin to tell the mountain how big your God is. You have got to change the words that you have been saying every day. You know, I love what the Bible says. In the book of uh, Joel chapter 3 in verse 10, the Bible says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pre pre pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. It is the weak that are saying, I am strong. It's not the strong ones. It's not those who are going through a good time. It's not those who are enjoying a good spell in their life. It's not those who are having a season of harvest who are saying, I am strong. It's not those who are feeling well and they are healthy in their body who are saying, I am strong. But the Bible says, let the weak Say I am strong. Today I'm speaking to somebody. Maybe you're going through a challenging time. I'm speaking to somebody. Maybe you're going through harsh economic challenges. Whatever is happening. Maybe it's in your family or whatsoever. I am speaking to you. Yes, I'm speaking to you. And I'm saying you have got to say something about your situation. You have got to say something about your circumstances. Because when you read the Bible, even from the beginning, we realize this, that it is a principle. What we say with our mouths has got power. It has got creative force. It has got creative power. Because the Bible tells us in the beginning, God said, God spoke a word. God said something from the beginning. What are you saying to your situation? If God could say and the world came to be, how about you today? 
I am telling you today that you have got to open up your mouth and begin to speak somebody. Open up your mouth and begin to decree somebody. Open up your mouth and begin to say to your mountain. What is your mountain saying to you? Your mountain is saying, I'm too big for you. You will never reach that, that goal. You will never achieve that goal. That is your mountain. But God turns around and looks at you and say, I am saying to you, as much as I spoke the world to being, as much as I said the words and the words came to be, I am saying to you as well, say something to your mountain. Speak to your mountain. And the Bible tells us that God says, this is Jesus speaking, and he says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, you will not say to me as God, but you will say to this mountain, after you have raised up the level of your faith, you stand and face your Goliath. You stand and face your mountain and begin to say to it, be moved and be cast into the sea. Today I am saying, get up on your feet, look at your mountain headlong, and begin to speak to him and say to the mountain be moved and be cast into the sea and the bible says when you have said so nothing shall be impossible nothing shall be impossible to the one who stands and confronts their mountain not to anybody who sits down and they are weeping and they are complaining and they are murmuring all the days of their lives i tell you what there will never be any difference in your life as you continue murmuring and continually complaining every day. You have got to get up, somebody. Begin to open up your mouth. There is power of life and death in that tongue of yours. Begin to speak that which you want to see happening in your life and it shall be so. And the Bible says nothing shall be impossible. If I go back to, to David when he was at war, when he got to the army, the Bible says that he says, what's happening here? Why is everybody so afraid? What am I going to be given when I bring this Goliath down? The Bible tells us it is David who is coming into Berkeley and he's saying, what is going to be given to me when I bring down this giant? Goliath is saying something about the situation. I mean, David is saying something about the situation that he is faced with. And he's saying, I am going to bring down this man. And he stands up and he faces Goliath. And he speaks to Goliath and says, Goliath, today I am going to carry your head. I'm going to cut your head. And I'm going to carry it around. David is speaking to Goliath before he even fights him. He is telling him what is going to happen even before it happens. What am I saying here? I am saying what have you got to say? You have got to say something even to your situation even before you see what you want to see happening. It begins by you saying something about it. David spoke to this to, the, to, to Goliath and said, you know what, Goliath, I am going to bring you down today. Today you are coming down and I'm going to cut your head off from your body. He is speaking to Goliath before he even fights him. What is my challenge to you today? My challenge is get up, open up your mouth and begin to declare what the Lord says in his word. Begin to speak forth what God has promised you. Begin to say the promises of God and you will see the results coming to pass in your life. It's all about what you say with your mouth. The power of life and death. The power of your victory. Your victory is in your tongue. Your, 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 your breakthrough is in your mouth. Your progress is in your mouth. Your success is in your mouth. What are you saying about your situation? Don't just say what the situation is telling you. But say what God says. Because the Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. You don't say what you are feeling. But you say what you want to see happening in your life. You have got to say what the word says and you will see the word come alive. God says, say to the mountain and it shall be moved and be cast into the sea. The challenge that I'm giving you today is I bring it to a close that you have got to get up open up your mouth and begin to use the power because God did it you can do it as well. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Let me say this to you. You are blessed coming in. You are blessed going out. Believe it. Walk in it. Say it every day and you will see it come to pass. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen.